can try. I'll have my best. Okay. Five, six, 
7, 8, and 9 are just a different representation of those exact same numbers. They're done in bar graph form. Pages 10 and 11, uh, same type of uh, data was copied, but this dealt strictly with income. Uh, I copied the number of households, median household income, median family income, and per capita income, and did the same types of calculations with these, uh, which you will see on page 13 in the purple and yellow. Uh, bar graphs, again, were produced. Pages 14, 15, and 16, same data, just in bar graph form. So what that did was, what all that data did was, it gave us something that we can look forward to um, in percentages of change, basically. Um, it showed that these little airports, we can expect it to increase if we expand this airport by 9.9%. Sounds good, you know? Sounds good. Employment, we can expect to increase 8.5%. That sounds great. Everybody wants that employment. But if you look over on the flip side on page 17, um, there is the yellow side of the chart. And if we take the national averages based on those exact same numbers, the civilian po uh, labor population actually increased more uh, on the national average and actually increased more on the employment data. Now, if you go down one more step, the unemployment also increased, but it went from 140 to 161. So, um, I'm not going to come in here and <laughs> claim that this is 100% uh, accurate. I'm a failed human being, and I know that I'm prone to error just like anybody else, but if you would give this a shot and take a look at the data, um, I will be posting the actual spreadsheet on, on one of my websites um, later this evening after the boys go to bed. Uh, you can find that uh, link on page two, uh, graphic.com studies, GA job study. That will be up as of tonight. Uh, I encourage you to take a look at it. Please contact me. Uh, let me know of any changes that you see. Um, let me know of any formula errors that I have made. Or if... Um, someone can determine a better way to come up with average employment increases or civilian labor population increases, those sorts of things. Um, again, I, I want you guys to be a good government. I want my city to be a good government. And I'm, I apologize that I've waited so long. Um, I've spent 80 to 100 hours on this the last two weeks. Uh, my brain is fried. Um, but I would encourage your comments and uh, hope that you give this real consideration before you move forward with any of the expansion projects. Thanks for Can I ask you a question if you don't mind? Absolutely. Okay. And we certainly do appreciate you coming up. And we do welcome the public to come up, whether they're for us or against our project. We do welcome that. Um, you say you've been familiarized yourself with our project right. quite a bit. So you're familiar with Morton Marcus, the economist from Indiana University? I, read, I did read over what he had mentioned. I don't exactly remember. Okay. What he said. You're, you're aware that he's, that, uh, he's putting together a very extensive study on the economic impact of the airport for this area. Why couldn't yeah. that have been done before any of this had progressed? It wasn't time for that. It's part of the environmental assessment. The LP has, has to be approved first. It's part of the environmental assessment. We have to do things, you know, right. like that. We will invite you when he does come up with his study, and we don't know the answer to it, actually. He was invited to do that. He wasn't told to make a certain conclusion. When he comes, we'd certainly like to invite you to come listen to what his conclusions have to say. Statistics can be, uh, we can all make statistics, you know, say anything we want. We do welcome your comments. Uh, we feel strongly that there is an economic benefit and, and many other benefits to this airport and this expansion. But it stops right there in the explanation. Show me, show me the data that it's going to actually prove before you take these folks' land. You know, show me that it actually will do what yeah. you say it will. Okay. And you're opposed to in the domain, and we certainly yes. appreciate that. I mean, some people are. Um, I presume you've driven on like Interstate 74. Before. Sure have. Okay. Yeah. That's all I have. Thank you. Sure have. And I, I won't leave it right there. Um, I understand that um, I have participated in taking the folks' land because I love drive on Interstate 70. And I, although I wasn't uh, inform well informed of the Lincoln Street, Street project, I'm, I've been told actually that some of that has been affected by eminent domain as well. Um, and I apologize to those folks who have been affected. 
uh, this really boiled down to.